facts about Professor Gambai, Buhari's new Chief of Staff. In recent years, the Office of the Chief of Staff has proven to be an important one. In the past, this wasn't really the case. Not, not like the office wasn't important, but most of the people that were in that, that occupied that office were literally seen and not heard from. Nigerians had four presidencies democratically in 1999. And if you think back, can you even remember the Chief of Staffs of President Obasanjo or President Yaradua or even President Jonathan? However, Abba Kiari, President Buhari's late Chief of Staff, changed all that. He brought more limelight to his office and some even refer to him as the most powerful official in Asuro, second only to President Buhari. Sadly, he passed away from coronavirus in April 2020 and since then, there has been a fierce debate as to who will replace him. President Buhari finally made his choice and here are seven previously unknown facts about the new Chief of Staff, Professor Ibrahim Abola. Gambari. Number 1. Royal Roots Professor Gambari was born on November 24, 1944 into the Ilori Royal family of Kwara State. In fact, the current area of Ilori, Aladdin Ibrahim Sulu Gambari, is said to be his nephew. The 75 year old prince currently holds the title of Wambai of Ilori. Number 2. <laughs> War about his university education the young Gambari attended government secondary school in Lorry before proceeding to King's College in Lagos. During his time at King's College, a little war brewed between his brother Zulu Gambari, who was then the dead, who was then the Emir of Ilori, and the British teachers who wanted him to enroll for university education in the UK. However, his brother the king insisted and wanted him to attend the University of Ibadan, UI. So Gambari went to UI. Interestingly, he spent only two weeks at UI as his British teachers found him, uh, found, they found him and took him straight to London School of Economics and Political Science. There he bagged a degree in Economics and International Relations and a Master's degree in 1970, a PhD in 1974 from Columbia University, New York, USA. Number 3. Diplomat by Accident Professor Gambari has often referred to himself as a diplomat by accident, but a teacher by training. Some of the institutions he has worked with as a lecturer and professor include Queen's College, New York, uh, State University of New York, Amadou Bello University, Zaria, where he became a professor in 1983, John Hopkins University, Georgetown University, Howard University, and the Brookings, and the Brookings Institution, all in Washington, D.C. Number four, worked with seven heads of state and four UN Secretary Generals. At a, relative, at a relatively young age of 39, Gambari was appointed as Nigeria's Minister of External Affairs by then Major General Buhari in 1984. Six years later, he was made Nigeria's Ambassador stroke Permanent Representative to the UN. He served for nine consecutive years between 1990 and 1999. Apart from President Buhari, uh, Gambari has worked with, he has worked closely with, I think, seven presidents, including President Shagari, Babangida, Shonekon, Abacha, Abubakar, and Obasanjo. At the UN, he worked in various top positions with four secretaries general. Number one was uh, Javier Perez de Coela, Butrus Butrus Gali, Kofi Annan, and Ban Ki Moon. Number five, Dictator Whisperer. Due to his work with the UN and the fact that he was often sent to hold discussions with African leaders seen as dictators by the rest of the world, he was dubbed the Dictator Whisperer by sections of the media. He has worked with Zimbabwe's Rupert Mugabe. Sudan's Omar Al Bashir, Myanmar Stan Sui, Chad's Idris Debi, amongst others. Number six, refer to Ken Saruwiwa as a common criminal. His illustrious career hasn't been without ups and downs. One of Shock's, one of Shock's down moments was when he was Nigeria's ambassador to the UN under General Sani Abacha. He tried to defend Abacha's jailing and subsequent execution of human rights activists Ken Saruwiwa and Yogo Nai. He is reported to have referred to them as common criminals, even though he himself has said he was quoted out of context. Number 7. A family man of many accolades. Professor Gambari, CFR, is married to one wife, Mrs. Fatima Gambari, and they are blessed with three children and grandchildren. One of his sons, Ola Ito, married an American in 2011. He has also received many national honors and prestigious awards from countries all over the world, including South Africa, Rwanda, the USA, and Zimbabwe. We at Legido NG wish him the very best in his new role as President Harris Chief of Staff.